The Fed just announced it will drop interest rates to zero and buy at least $700 billion in government and mortgage-related bonds as part of a wide-ranging emergency action to protect the economy from the impact of the coronavirus outbreak. While this normally will be huge, early on Monday the U.S. markets actually dropped, which shows Wall Street may calling this a bluff. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure that you're subscribed to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Monday, we will continue watching as the coronavirus and the oil price war continue to develop. This week, we'll also be eyeing the Aussie dollar, British pound, euro, and CAD to see if they can recover from last week's heavy losses versus the US dollar. Today I'm looking at the CAD yen pair on the monthly chart as it found support at the three year low of 74.85 last week. Looking at the big picture, the pair dropped to as low as 68.54 during the 2008 market crash. But back then, the pair had just experienced an all time high at around 124, a level that has not been seen ever since. Sense. Now, does this mean that the coronavirus crash could drag the pair even lower eventually? From what we've seen so far, the possibility of the pair revisiting at least 68.52 is pretty high. What do you think? Will you be shorting the Cadian pair or will you buy in the current pullback? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.